Electro voice, EV DX46, FIR drive, sound system, processor. Um, EV have been there for decades. There's been a perception that they've sort of gone away or gone quiet in the last decade. There was a lull um, before Bosch acquired the firm. Uh, and since then, Bosch are committed to R&D. So we're starting to see stuff come out the end. Ergo this. So they haven't really gone away. James. In, in a word, we, we don't call things crossovers anymore because a crossover is just a frequency dividing network. Um, we call things system processes or controllers. Um, and this is, a, this is a classic example of that. And it's EV's take on it. This is their, their top of the line. They also make a, a, a step down version of this. Um, there's some differences in the top filtering. Of the line, it's 3,000 bucks. So yeah. you know, go back five, 10 years ago, you'd be paying a lot more. Yeah, and look, the, the, the main things to know about this is that uh, on your input side, you've got parametric EQ, graphic EQ and delay, and that's global, that's across your inputs. Then you've got a sum of both those channels, mm. and then for each output, you can choose channel A, it's, channel it's B, quite, or the sum. It's quite instructive, it's very yeah, handy. Yeah, there's a full the, the signal flow, flow chart on top, on top which it's is really good. It's not mounted in a rack, you can read it. You done? Sorry, carry on. Okay, then on each output, you've got individual parametrics, delay, um, crossover, and also you've got these new FIR filters. Uh, now that's EV's take on, on a super linear crossover, and the idea of that- Oh, that's like 70 it's, dB it's, slope. Yeah, it's super steep, on, super steep on the actual filter. And, and the general idea around that is that, you know, the, the steeper your crossover slope, the less crossover distortion you get, mm. the less phasing problems you run into, and the better your, your sound system is going to perform overall. Um, look, it's got limiters built in. Uh, it's got Ethernet, so you can control it remotely. Um, and another really cool thing I like about this is um, we see it a lot on riders these days. You know, the touring engineer must have access, complete access to all processes. Uh, you can give someone access to the front panel of this. You can say, you can people adjust. people really put that on their riders? People really put it on their riders. <sighs> wow. Big, insistent, bold type, must have access. Um, the beautiful thing about this is that you can remove menu elements from the front panel control Aha. using the software. So you, get so you can actually give someone full access to the processor um, without having to give them full access to the system per se. Mm. So yeah, that's the DX46. It mm. sounds good. Uh, EV, solid backup. Big company, solid warranty service. Not that I think you're likely to need it for a while. And I can't accidentally lock myself out. On the, on the front panel. I'm sure if you tried hard enough, you probably Because I could. did manage to do that two years yeah. ago, not with an EV I did, product. I did that on a dimmer once. Um, required the audio production company to send a tech 50 kilometers of a replacement unit because between the two of us over the phone, we could not unlock the unit that wasn't one of these, so take care. So that's something in this thing's favor. Julius hasn't broken it. Not yet. DX46. Thank you.